All right, I got my brushes, I'm good. Good morning, today is another day. I guess in, in Pearson land, in a, a day in life in Matt Pearson, day in life, another day in life. I should really uh, just have a GoPro video going all day and then show you how boring it is. <laughs> this is the most exciting part of my day is putting on a Jamba Juice smock and uh, getting some painting in. That was a clock, that was a timer that I apparently had on. I didn't realize I had a timer still on. So I am grabbing some more panels to work with. Boom! Look at that. Got to grab another one that's kind of tucked up over here. Put this one right here. Good. Look at that. Are you looking at it? I'm looking at it. Good. Good, good, good. So we got two new panels to work with. Yes. I'm going to turn this light on. Oh, it's short. Oh, no. You're going to fall. You're going to fall now. There we go. Obey me. Come on. Oh man, that would have been so funny if I, you saw me falling off the frame there. I had to adjust my light that was off the frame and then I am uh, standing on some stuff that was quite questionable to stand on, a little unstable. And uh, well, today I'm gonna be working some more circles here. So uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a circle here because I want it overlapping the drips. And then maybe I might put a small circle right here to overlap. Maybe a, a small circle right here, not on top of this, because I want this corner, right? But I'm gonna put a small circle here, and maybe some more sprinkled here. And um, I think that might be it. Maybe like a, like a pair or two of small ones right here. Now, like before, I'm gonna kind of put this tape here to kind of Mitigate any, uh, hmm. I wonder if I want that corner clipped off. It might be inevitable. I guess I'll just have that corner clipped off. We're going to move back up. That, that that clipped off that much or um, just that little so I'm gonna make a bigger circle that's gonna cover more I don't want to do it but I'm going to and I wish this thing did not make such a big dent a big little hole there so now I'm gonna do a smaller circle right here. Actually, I might do a, a a bigger circle that goes off the edge. Let's see. What would it take to get this circle to go off the edge? Like this. So we're going to have to move it like this. I want it to touch this area. So I'm just moving around, seeing where it goes. I think it'll go right here. So it goes off the edge. It overlaps some of this drip here. And uh, I think two big circles is good. We're gonna do a, a vastly smaller circle right here. I say vastly smaller, but it's really not. Never mind. It's gonna have to be a little bigger. Okay. 
All right, there we go. And I think I have enough like large circles in this one, so I'm gonna put some um, smaller, smaller random circles on 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 here. So we're just gonna have like a maybe a one or two. I think I have one right here that's larger on top of this right here, and then one right here. And then I'm gonna have, I want a few kind of orbiting this one. And I'm gonna do like a, a smaller circle right here. And then we'll probably have one small one kind of coming off this edge. And I think that's enough for this, this specific painting. And I wanna do the same on the right painting here. But first, before I do that, I'm gonna sip some coffee and briefly stare and kind of contemplate what I want to do with it. I gotta contemplate. I'm, I'm thinking just having something like kind of right here with maybe a few kind of just sprinkled around it. Like maybe a, so, a, like a medium circle here. Maybe it go, goes over this and then moves to the left and moves a little bit here. So just a little bit of overlap somewhere. Like there's no set place I want to put it. So I uh, worked out this morning and um, my hands are kind of shaky. It wasn't a hard workout. Most of my, actually like all my workouts are no longer hard. They're all easy, uh, but it still puts a shock to my central nervous system. So my, my body's like, uh, a little shaky. There's a bunch of gunk on this. How'd that get there? I don't know. I shouldn't worry too much. Okay. So what I'm doing is I'm just having um, some uh, um, circles that kind of interact with the space a little bit. And they just kind of move around. I might need to get a different one of these because this is making a lot of like scuff marks and I'm not liking it right now. I might have to start cleaning it more often. I don't know why it's like scuffing it. I don't like that. That is not what I was intending on doing. If I get a scuff mark, I want the scuff mark because I did it, not because of accidents. <laughs> and I want one circle off here. for good measure. And that's it for this one. See, I don't want to do a lot of circles. Uh, I was counting them before, but not anymore. I'm just gonna one, two, three, four, five, six, seven circles on this one. That one has a lot more than uh, this, this right one right here, but um, I'm, not, I'm not monitoring the painting so much anymore. I used to, I was like, I need to have Three circles, that's it. Give me three circles and I'm good. Or no more than five. Because I was trying to regulate the, uh, the composition a little too much. And now I'm kind of going with uh, the, the, uh, the notion of we want to kind of have uh, 
we want the, the, the composition to kind of dictate where uh, the, the circles are going and not just have a, a set number simply because I'm being lazy. That's the reason why I have a set number of circles because I'm really lazy. <laughs> Which is kind of like, it's kind of funny because I'm, what I'm doing is like the opposite of the lazy. I think I need to maybe wipe this down. I might have to consider doing that. See how that, how that works out. Get some water, wipe it down. Or maybe wiping it down might cause too much pro Like it might... uh. I'm not too sure about it actually. I have to do a study. Like I have to get like a piece of um of of free wood and kind of put some acrylic on there and see if I can wipe it down without it smearing. So I don't know if it's not gonna smear, that's what I'm thinking. So I don't know that if that's going to, if it's going to do that. So I'm going to try a different brush today. I'm going to see how this works. I'm going to see if I can use its 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 edge to do a better curve lines, better curve linear lines on it. And typically, when I do these paintings, I try to I try to mitigate. Or try to do is use as few brushes as I need to. As few brushes I, as I need to for the painting, or for the so I don't have to clean them up later on. So I try to minimize the amount of brushes I use, even though I know that there is utility in in using other brushes. I just don't want to um, have to clean them. Because, you know, right now is the fun part. The painting part is the fun part. But then cleaning them is kind of like, eh. I don't want to. I don't want to clean them. I actually think this might have better edge control. I think it has a little bit better edge control than my other one, than some of my other brushes here. So I'm pretty quiet today. Nothing fantastic going on. Just uh, a lot on my mind outside of painting. A lot on my mind outside of painting. Oh no, come on. So this brush has better edge control than my other brush. I'm able to do the curved lines a little bit smoother, but it um it pulls some it, it it's the bristles are a little too hard. They're a little hard for this paint. 
So if I apply too much pressure, it kind of creates a streaking effect on the surface, even though I get a good edge. So it's like I'm having to do a little bit extra work to kind of make sure I got an even application of paint here, but it's scrubbing off. It's like scrubbing off the previous layer. So I got like a little bit of like the previous layer showing here and I don't like that. I'm trying to avoid that right now. I don't know. Just working along here, getting these lines in. Uh, boy. Talking to yourself is silly. All right, time to use some small brushes. Actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the um, this brush here to kind of just mass out the circles a little bit so I don't have to spend extra time kind of filling them up with my other brushes. So I'm gonna use the, the larger one to kind of mass out these areas. So these smaller, um, these smaller circles have been used to kind of, I've been using to interact with some of the corners, make them a little bit no, more unique. Not corners, but edges, right? I've been using them to kind of activate the visual edge of my picture plane. So I've been thinking about the edges, or the edges of my picture plane a little bit more with regards to my paintings here. And uh, thinking about how, what's their what I'm doing with them, like what, what's going to occur with them, like do I keep working on them, do I include an item on the edge. So I've been trying to play around with putting just like one or two things on the edge, uh, one or two circles on the edge to see what kind of happens and see if it makes it look better as a compositionally. It's questionable, you know, you don't really know. There's not like set standards or practices for abstract paintings they're all they're all they um they all have their own qualities and you know there's what i'm basically saying is there's no clearly defined 
definition for what makes a good abstract painting. So I'm just trying to get these circles in. All right, there's one. Looking good. Get in there, man. So I'm, I'm finding I'm doing a much better job when I'm not talking. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it, right? Who'd have thought that I would be doing a much better job at painting these circles by not, not talking? Because I'm not having to multitask. And when you talk, you kind of shake. No one really... Uh, no one thinks about this, but when you talk, there are some vibrations going in your body and it, it can affect your actions a little bit, like just ever so subtly. Uh-oh, now I'm making some mistakes. It was inevitable. It was going to happen. It was bound to happen. I was going to make a mistake. Those circles weren't going to be perfect forever. I mean, um, decent forever. <laughs> so I just like doing this. I've been thinking about doing black, using a black paint on my, my, on my pieces for a while. Um, I thought it'd be a really cool contrast, really cool contrast to use, right? I thought it'd be really interesting to see 
you have this these high saturated colors right and then you have really really dark contrast so it's something for me to start thinking about for future pieces All right, getting there. Almost done with this panel. I am making some good time today. Which I can accredit to not talking so much. Which is fine. go that is one panel done we're gonna work on the next one I gotta finish these up I gotta the one up when I start them I want to have them done I don't want to kind of whoops I don't want them kind of just hanging out in limbo when I start one so you know whenever I start a layer I like to finish that layer I'm gonna finish this circle that I kind of put black paint on already anyways.
Okay. I think I'm ready to kind of do a little, some edging, get the edge on the circle. I think. All right. So I'm just really quiet today. Not a lot going on. I'm just trying to keep a an empty head today, you know? Just trying to go with the flow. Not worry about what's going on in the world today. Not worry about things that are going on, you know. So I'm trying to focus at the task at hand and just execute, you know. It's easy to get distracted. It's very easy to get distracted. And so I'm just trying to focus on making my circles. Be very simple. Just make decent circles, you'll be good. Oh, that's a pretty good circle there. I would uh, have to uh, have to give myself a pat on the back. So let's flip this around, and we're going to do this circle right here, the, the big one up here that kind of started. So I want that one done. It's going to be a little tricky. There's a lot of paint here that's kind of that I kind of have to kind of. get through the nooks and crannies on the surface. I don't want to go over the, the, uh, the pink, 
this uh, pink triangle because I actually liked that shape that was formed. It's a very jagged, narrow triangle form that I had, and I was like, I don't want to lose that. But sometimes you got to lose certain things that you like in order to make it a little bit better or propel it forward some more. And it's kind of it's not necessarily easy to do. Here we go. Gonna get the circle in here.
I'm getting a little bit OCD on the circle here. So I'm trying to cover up these areas that you can see part of the, the paint underneath. And I don't want that. I want a flat black tone. And even though this, this brush has good edge control, it can scrape. It tends, it's like scraping the, um, some of the previous layers off. And I don't want that. I want it to be, to be at least semi smooth. Basically, I'm just going to do the larger circles now, the second largest. And then I'm going to do the smaller ones and uh, call it a day. Call it a day here, you know. Alrighty, I'm gonna put some right here.
I'm just trying to get this done. You know, it's taking a while. That's just what I'm trying to do, trying to knock it out and um, get on with my day because it's taking me a little longer than I thought it would because I have a lot more circles. Uh, I'm, I'm getting more elaborate unintentionally. And so because of that, it's, it's just uh, taking forever. So I'm messing up this circle royally. So I have to keep making it a little bit larger each time. So it looks more like a circle, otherwise it's gonna look like a weird splatter mark. And it's partially because it's darn brushed. This brush is uh, not meant for this. not really good at manipulating at small corners. Well, that's okay. Almost done. Hey, hey, how you doing? Just, um, I'm getting there. It's just taking so long to do. You know, it's taking too long. The paint's starting to clump up a little bit and it's just making it difficult. I'm not using the right brush. I'm too stubborn to change my mind. Just too stubborn. I don't want to. I don't want to swap brushes. I'm like, I got two brushes already, but I don't want to clean anymore. Yeah, I don't want to clean anymore. I don't want to clean my brushes. I'm always cleaning. You have to clean. So believe it or not, the black paint's making a, it's, it's really shiny. So it's, it's making it hard to see where I need to manipulate my brush.
and the uh, the lights making the perfect cast shadow, which is which is not good for um, fine line work. It's not even fine line work; just like average line work. <laughs> Even to do average line work, you need a little bit of, you need better light. Oh, great. I'm slipping. There we go. One more. And then I'm going to call it a day, sit down, maybe drink some coffee for a brief moment, and then go along my merry way. I'm just happy that I'm going to have two more paintings done, locked and loaded, finished, completed for the day. And then um, just do another batch tomorrow, another set tomorrow. And depending on what the, um, yeah, looks like I want to have two, four, six. I'm going to have eight done Friday, and then Saturday I have ten done. Woo! That is some good stuff there. That's makes that's exciting. And then after that comes the not so exciting part, which is photographing and tiling and labeling every one of those files, uh, uh, all those images, then put them on the website as available. Oh gosh, that's an all day endeavor. And you gotta wait for, you, have, you gotta wait to have uh, perfect lighting conditions so you can do it outside. And so that might not happen for a bit unless things change. I'm trying to make this circle so perfect. Uh, I had it right the first time and then I just tried, I just, I wanted to make it just a little bit better. And I know myself that it's actually gonna make it worse. So, uh, so here we go. Cause I'm talking. You know, uh, I'm, it's not worth it. It's not worth the stress. Like I'm trying to make it better and better. It's not really getting much better. Anyways, that is it. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'm finished for the day. I've gotten my two paintings done. Check them out. Check them out. Look at that. There they are. And I think they look pretty good. Pretty nice. Have a wonderful Thursday.